Hello everyone, how was your week? How was your weekend? Last Halloween weekend? Did you go see the Five Nights at Freddy movie? Even though it came out online and in theaters, it was cleaning up. It was breaking box office records. Everyone's loving it. Ah! Oh, okay, well, not everybody. Well, I guess the fans did. I played the games, I watched the lore videos, so if, if I'm being honest, I thought this movie was really... And that one part of the movie when they... But I'm not here to review the movie, but you can watch that in your own time if you're interested. But what I do want to discuss today is how this movie is making people insane. And I'm not talking about the fight that broke out on opening night during a screening. Movie releases have a very common effect on people. You never know when a meme is going to sprout. When the Morbius movie came out, everybody was making Morbin Time memes. It's Morbin Time. The Minions movie release gave us hordes of people dressed up in suits. And we still remember Barbenheimer. Hey, that was pretty recently. People dressing up either in Barbie or Oppenheimer outfits. For the release of the Five Nights of Freddy movie, we got Grand Theft. Well, not actually Grand Theft, but that just sounded better. Five Nights at Freddy cutouts stolen from cinemas in bizarre new trend. What is happening? Why are people stealing the cardboard cutouts for the Five Nights at Freddy movie and filming it for millions of people to see? Every second that I scroll, the first thing I see is somebody stealing a Five Nights at Freddy poster. Oh, obviously, and, and the Trolls movie. I admit. There is some sort of lore with stealing cardboard cutouts. When I was younger, I remember taking the Justin Bieber cardboard cutout outside of a pharmacy. There it is. This is the one. This was years ago back in Canada. I was riddled with guilt. I put it back right away. I wasn't filming it and posting it on TikTok. But here we have people stealing the Five Nights of Freddy posters all over the world. Good morning. Why am I seeing so many people stealing the FNAF posters? Let me try and explain exactly how this started, because it started as like a harmless little gag. Before the movie came out on October 13th, somebody posted this video, me walking out of the movie with the FNAF movie cardboard cutout. What did you just put in your pocket? What was, no, I saw you put something in your pocket, what was that? Oh, can we get a golf clap? Harmless, easy, 2.1 million views. Here's another one posted on the exact same day. This guy's pretending like he's got the Freddy Fazbear cardboard cutout shoved up his butt. Oh, hold up. Great. 1.3 million views. Harmless. But then the movie was released and this small harmless joke mutated into something toxic just like the T-virus in Resident Evil. Shout out to Mexico because I'm pretty sure Mexico was the first group of people that decided to do this on October 24th. Se arma persecución en la plaza. Los empleados salieron detrás de ellos. Did they get oh oh he got stopped oh idiot. Esta vez no lograron su cometido. But it only takes a small spark in a forest to start a wildfire because that's exactly what happened. Oh he took one of the actual people. Look how slow he's moving. Here we have some more examples. Where is this Cineplesios? Look, oh great. You know how ridiculous you look running with a giant box like that? If you walked out casually, I feel like less people would seem suspicious. But instead, they're going round in circles. And this is a movie theater in a mall. So it's on like the third or fourth floor. Do you think they're taking these posters home to their parents' house? Their parents aren't going to be like, where did you get this, son? Daughter? Where did you? No, they're ditching it. They're ditching it all over the place. <laughs> They're not just taking them from movie theaters, they're also taking them from like bus stop advertisements. A lot of these videos gotten taken down, but some of them are doing extremely well on TikTok and are still currently up. This was posted three days ago, 28 million views, 4 million likes. <laughs> oh, okay. We've moved on to Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol, man. At least the Paw Patrol poster looks cool. They did not steal the FNAF poster of my local theater in front of my eyes. Yeah, yeah, they did. Oh, it's a two-person job now. Now we've got two people. It's a piece of paper. You need two people to do this? This is the two-person heist? Fans stealing a FNAF movie standee at the movie theater. Always in the mall. Why is this guy wearing all red? Is that an employee? Nah, G. They still trying to steal FNAF posters, man. That really hurt me to read it in the way that he wrote it.
Oh, it's the same outfits. Oh, these are movie theater outfits. Oh, you you got the boys running. Okay, come on. If you're getting paid minimum wage to work at these movie theaters, don't chase anybody down. Just let them go. Like nobody's gonna be like this John Wick employee with his long hair chasing someone down for a Five Nights of Freddy poster. Is it worth it? Who's this guy? This guy works at the pretzel shop. He doesn't even need to be here. How did a harmless joke spiral out of control into whatever I'm seeing here? Why do people keep keep doing this? Markiplier was supposed to be in the FNAF movie, but he wasn't because of a scheduling conflict. Everybody knows he's one of the people that made the game very popular, especially on YouTube. So to commemorate Markiplier, somebody put a picture of him reacting on the poster and left it there. Shout out to whoever stuck Markiplier at my local cinema. This is a good harmless gag. Let's watch this video here. This is better than the Baby Driver movie. This is the heist of the century. 200 IQ. One person drops it to the other person. Boom, bow. Wait, why are there Christmas decorations already? Oh, there they go. There they go. That was a six man job. Also, they can get this Five Nights at Freddy poster. And th there they go, back to their parents' basement. No, seriously, what month is it? Why are there Christmas decorations? It's <laughs> Employees are getting so worried now, they're just wrapping them up with the stanchions so nobody can try and take them. Just a movie theater employee staring at the empty case where the FNAF poster was. Oh, great. I don't know exactly what this is. Let's be honest here, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, is that Barry Allen? My name is Barry Allen. I'm just losing hope in the stability of the world if the people who are going to be world leaders in the future are this stupid. Can we stop committing crimes and posting it for the world to see? Speaking of, did you hear about that dingus who was in Japan and was committing a bunch of crimes and posted it on YouTube? Phidias? YouTuber sparks outrage after fleeing police on free trip across Japan. So the video was taken down now, obviously, for good reason, but originally what he was doing was he was trying to travel across Japan and he was doing it with four other people and the whole point was that they can't spend any money. But the entire time, they're just committing crimes. Sneaking into trains and fare dodging. Crime. Sneaking into a hotel and charging food to someone else's room. Crime. Begging for money. That's a criminal offense in Japan. And he posted the entire thing to his YouTube channel for views. Reminds me of another idiot who decided to disrupt the Japanese environment for, for a vlog. Tokyo is a real life cartoon. Ah! Toyota, I choose you point is these view vampires these cloud chasers all they're doing right now is just committing crimes they're on crime sprees and filming it for the world to see can we relax just a little bit i didn't even see what they were stealing let me take a closer look at the oh my gosh people are selling it on ebay already 64 dollars five nights of freddy 2023 original theatrical movie 24 by 40 it doesn't even look that cool why would you want this in your house i'd rather have the paw patrol one in my house <laughs> Oh, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, leave me a comment down below. And as I said in my community post, I'm trying to post three times a week. I'm posting once on the weekend on this channel and I'm posting two times on my second channel, Asher Extra. Link will be in the description. Hopefully to see you there. Tokyo is a real life cartoon.